This is a quick demonstration of the disaggregation capabilities we have within the Cisco UCSX series platform. We are going to showcase the simplicity and the modularity of the platform architecture in this demo. We will go through a simple process of provisioning new GPU resources to an existing compute node within UCSX series chassis. Let's move into the actual demonstration. This is the physical chassis we are going to be using for this demo. We have our existing compute node in slot number one used by an application, and there is a blank module in slot number two. We will populate the UCS X series PCIe node with the GPU populated in slot number two. We will have it connected to the compute node to enable GPU support of the application. Let's look at the same chassis from our cloud-based management platform called Cisco Intersight. As we have seen earlier, physically on the chassis, we have the compute node in slot number one and a blank module in slot number two. Now, if we look at the inventory of this compute node at this stage, before we connect a PCIe node to it to provision a new GPU resource, you will notice that there is no GPU available on the compute node, but all the other resources such as CPU, memory, storage controllers, drives, and so on are all available. Now, let's physically plug in a PCI node with a GPU populated on it in the available slot. This is the only physical operation that needs to be performed to attach a GPU onto the compute node. So, as you see here, the process is very simple due to the modularity of the UCSX series platform. There is no need to go through complex tasks, such as dealing with cables, additional power requirements, etc. Once we physically insert the PCI node into the available slot, all you have to do is rediscover the compute node from Cisco Intersight and that will make the compute node detect the newly provisioned resource. Now, I'm going to go ahead with the rediscovery process of the compute node from Cisco Intersight. Under Actions for the compute node, we have the rediscover task. Once the rediscovery task has been initiated, the execution flow can be monitored to see what tasks are being executed as part of the discovery process. There are a number of tasks that get executed, like verifying hardware configuration, in this case, the server is in a shutdown state, so it goes through the process of powering up the server, verifying hardware, waits for BIOS post-completion, and retrieves server inventory, for example. Once the execution flow is completed, we can look at the inventory of the server to see if the GPU is provisioned on the server. As you see here, the whole process took around 6 minutes to add a new GPU to the existing server within the UCSX series platform. Now, if we look at the server inventory, we should be able to see the GPU. We already see the PCI node displayed in slot number 2, and we have the GPU displayed under Resources. We can verify the model of this GPU and the location of the GPU, as well as the PCI node location within the chassis from Intersight. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you for your time.